Uh, okay. Looks like it worked. Eventually. So, White Rock is a small town in New Mexico with 1,500 households. The town of White Rock has an undeveloped lot on which you can build a new grocery store or a public park. So a private institution or a public institution. The average household willingness to pay for a public park is $100. And the total cost to the town of building the grocery store is $1 million. Total cost to the town of building the park is 100000 The average household has a monthly budget of $500 to spend on food and other household items. Please draw pictures as appropriate to explain your answers. What is the total benefit measured in dollars to White Rock residents of building a grocery store? Explain, and it may be useful to draw some careful pictures here. Um, so as we saw, White Rock, White Rock has 1,500 people. Total cost of a grocery store is a million dollars, and the average household has a monthly budget of $500 to spend on food and other household items. So, uh, let's see if our junior tutor did what I'm thinking as well. The average household willingness to pay for public parks is $100. Accordingly, the total amount that can be collected to provide public parks is $150,000. This is the overall benefit, and you'll notice that that's more uh, than the total cost. However, that's not the question. It's not asking about the park. It's asking about the grocery store. Total cost of the town is to build a grocery store is $1 million, uh, and that of a park is $100,000. The average household has a monthly budget of $500, so we've got 1,500 households. Each with $500 spend at this grocery store. That should equal $750,000, unless my math's wrong, which happens to me all too frequently. Um, the total cost of the town to build a grocery store is a million dollars in the first year, and that of a park is a million dollars in the first year. Is a hundred thousand dollars in the first year's pardon. The average household has a monthly budget of five hundred dollars to spend on food and other household items purchased from grocery stores. Hence, the total amount that could be collected to provide a grocery store is therefore seven hundred fifty thousand dollars. My math checks out. Wonderful. Uh, note that the cost of building the grocery store is a million dollars in the first year. Well, the total benefit to White Rock residents, to, uh, White Rock residents of building a grocery store is seven hundred fifty thousand dollars. Hence, the net benefits are negative, negative two hundred fifty thousand dollars in the first year. Uh, moving forward, however, uh, so if you were only looking at this in one period, you would not build the grocery store because you'd say, okay, the net benefits are negative two hundred fifty thousand. But in the following year, the grocery store is already built, so the $1 million in cost comes away. But people still need groceries, will still be shopping at that store, so the benefits over time are going to be grossly positive. So for example, in the second year, the total, total benefits, total net benefits are going to be $500,000, then $1.25 million, then $2 million, etc., etc., etc. So the cost is... Of building the store is one time well the benefit happens in subsequent periods